Apron Strings is a story about the Mackey family over a three-year period starting in 1957. It's Sally Mackey is seven years old. She has an older sister, Stuart, a younger sister, Helen. She has a brother, Gordy, and a brother, Dennis. Her parents are Jenny and Joe. The two main characters are Sally and Ethel, the family's black maid. Ethel was absolutely the most important person in Sally's life. She taught Sally how to become a person. Apron Strings is about a real relationship. The story is made up, but it follows along my relationship with our family's maid, Lottie. Lottie taught me about love. She taught me, she saw beyond, she was a beautiful woman who saw beyond color, saw beyond what separated us, what made us different, and helped me learn to see what made us alike. Lottie taught me from a really early age that love was really important. She, you didn't have to look just right. You didn't even have to act just right. You just had, you had, she gave me the space to be just who I was. In our family, if you were a child or if you were the help, you were meant to, if you were seen at all, you were not to be heard. So in my family, the idea for the children and the help was to be seen and not heard. So I wrote my book based on that idea that children shouldn't be seen or heard and I gave both the child and the help a voice and so I have dual narrators in this book because I thought it would be fun to hear what they had to say. As a child I know I had a lot to say and I suspect Lottie did too. This book is not about race. I used racism and the desegregation that was going on at the time as a backdrop to highlight the drama that was going on inside the house. Jenny, Sally's mother, the least likable character in the book, was a victim of her times. She had all kinds of traumatic things happen to her and, her, and the major focus was to keep a happy face, to keep up appearances. In the 1950s, it was more important how you looked than what was actually going on in the household. You could be knee-crawling drunk, you could beat your children, you could beat your wife, and if nobody knew about it, or nobody had to deal with it, everything was just fine. There was a completely different set of um, circumstances. If your home was your castle, and what happened behind closed doors stayed behind closed doors. If your life is falling apart and you have to put on a happy face, that's a pretty hard place to be. And that was the way it was back then. Leave It to Beaver was a television show that really did express the times. It's really fascinating. June in the, in the show was all about mild-mannered, beautiful June. And that's the way it was. This might actually help us understand the situation as far as Jenny is concerned. She didn't have too many outs. She didn't have as many options as we did. When I was a kid, they closed the schools down and I thought that that would be an interesting um, perspective for Sally to comment on since Sally has more opinions than most people her age. So I used that whole desegregation and the, and the closing down of schools in a way to help Sally expose who she was as a character. So that Sally was able to comment on the, on the silliness in her mind of what was going on and in no way was I making any political statements. I wrote the story because Lottie was the most pivotal person in my life and I really thought that it would make a fantastic story. Someone once told me that woman didn't love you. She was paid to look like she loved you. She was paid to pretend like she loved you, but she didn't love you. And I know that's not true. And I wrote this story for exactly that reason, because it's not true. I've never read much about this relationship, one that I think is quintessentially Southern, and I thought somebody should write about it, so I did.